House Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler issuing a subpoena this morning for the full Mueller report and the underlying evidence as Democrats accuse Attorney General Barr of misrepresenting the special counsel's findings when it came to obstruction. Let's bring in Guy Lewis, former U.S. attorney who served with Barr at the Justice Department under President George H.W. Bush. Good morning to you, Guy. So what do you make of the, the attacks that we are seeing from from some Democrats when it comes to William Barr and, and calling into question his credibility. Good morning, guys. I, I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest with you. It sort of reminds me of the old days when I was trying cases as a prosecutor. You know, there was nothing, frankly, nothing you could do that would fully please the other side. I'd put on a witness that, that was an eyewitness who saw the events transpire. The other side would say, well, we want it on tape. I'd, I'd show them the tape. Then they'd say, well, it's, it's in black and white. We want it in color. I'd show them in color. And they'd say, well, they'd come up with some other excuse or reason. So it, it sort of reminds me of that when I was trying cases as a prosecutor in Miami. Well, here is Jerry Nadler, chairman of the House Judiciary, who, as, uh, as of a couple hours ago, has made it clear he's issued a subpoena, wants to see the unredacted report. Uh, here's what he said earlier on Good Morning America. The Attorney General has revealed himself, Barr has revealed himself as an agent of the President, not the Attorney General, the entire American people. He's a defense attorney for the, for the people. He kept, he, he clearly misled over a period of four weeks from the, the March 24th letter. An agent to the President, not the AG <laughs> for the American people, and he clearly misled over a period of four weeks. Talking about William Barr. I, I don't buy it one bit, Sandra. You, you look at the report, look at the Mueller report, look at what Barr was actually saying in his four page letter of a few weeks ago. It tracks very, very closely. He had, and it was, this isn't just Barr who's coming out pulling this stuff out of the air. He's got a team of dedicated professionals, lawyers, Rod Rosenstein also participating. Look, can they say, Rod's no, he, he's been uh, attacked by the president over and over. He's participating in this. All of this represents their collective best judgment. And then you take a step back. Look, I, I know Barr and I know, look, I don't expect people to, uh, to believe me, but look, Barr is a fine man. He's an honorable man. He crosses T's, he dots I's. He is not the kind of guy that would come in there and violate his oath and uh, and, and do the kind of things that Jerry Nadler's uh, uh, accusing him of. But why not make a, a final determination on the obstruction uh, of justice? Well, that's a good question. So, in in truth, this was Barr's ultimate decision. I mean, you've got Mueller, who is the special prosecutor. He is appointed and still works under the uh, auspices of the Department of Justice. So it's hit Barr's ultimate decision here. And in terms of, of, of transparency, as I understand it, General Barr has agreed to provide uh, the unredacted report to various members of the Congress. What makes this so unique and different is that there's so much politics involved. Mm. I mean, you, prosecution and politics uh, are, are terrible bedfellows, and in this case, you're seeing it play out. Adam Schiff, head of the House Intel, held a press conference following the release of the report yesterday in that he said this. When the attorney general gives the perception that the president fully cooperated in the investigation when he didn't, uh, that they provided all the information materials um, when they didn't, when the president, in fact, deprived the special counsel of perhaps the single most important piece of evidence, that is his own verbal testimony, uh, that misleads the American people. You've read the report, Guy. How do you respond to that? Well, look, I, I can see where honorable people would argue over whether or not the president, or whether or not Mueller should have pressed the president for an in-person interview. I understand that. That's a fair debate. But in terms of cooperation, the president and his team turned over a million plus documents. They waived executive privilege, which again, a lot of defense lawyers looked at that and said, hey, wait a second, I don't know if I'd make that same kind of call. And he, he, the president granted virtually unlimited access 
to his own circle of advisors, the White House counsel, um, uh, family members, staff members, et cetera, et cetera. So, look, I, I, again, I, I appreciate the politics of, of claiming that the president was stonewalling. I just don't see that the facts bear that out. Guy Lewis, great to get you on the program this morning. Thank you.